Do not quit Premiere Pro. It could be the biggest mistake you ever make. I just switched from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro for a couple of really, really good reasons that you're definitely going to want to hear. And the last reason I'm gonna talk about is the most important one for anyone like me who wants to make filmmaking or video creation a career. First, let me get this straight. DaVinci Resolve is a great editing program. I've used it for years. It served me very well, especially the free version. It's awesome. The first benefit of switching from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro is Premiere Pro is much more optimized for plugins. So if you're a new YouTuber, you don't know how to do any sort of graphics or just don't have time to figure that out, a lot more resources are available to you to make the video production process easier. I have spent so much time in DaVinci Resolve learning the Fusion page, figuring out how to do motion graphics and convert templates to motion graphics, and it's possible you can do it, it's just really much more labor intensive than throwing plugins in in Premiere Pro or After Effects and customizing them right there. Even down to the simplest things like the integration of Adobe fonts makes Premiere Pro much more streamlined in terms of workflow optimization. The second reason that I switched to Premiere Pro is it's a lot easier to learn on because there's many more tutorials about it. So if you're new to video production, whether that's YouTube or filmmaking, Premiere Pro is the best way to go because it's way easier to learn and it is the industry standard. And that leads right into the most important reason and the personal reason why I switched from DaVinci Resolve to Premiere Pro. DaVinci was good and gave me everything I needed for creating my YouTube videos and my short films. And I built up a lot of knowledge of the software. I got pretty good. Now I'm a full-time YouTuber, college dropout. This is what I do for a living. It's awesome, I love it. But as a young man who wants a family one day, I'm not gonna lie and tell you that it doesn't at least slightly stress me out that all of this this needs to work. And if it doesn't, well, I still wanna get a job with something that I'm passionate about and have some talent for, video production. Practically every production company in the world, every team of editors in the entire stratosphere, they all want editors who are very proficient in Premiere Pro. Adobe has positioned itself in such a way that they have just dominated the market and any of these big production houses, anywhere that I could get hired as an editor if need be, if I can't pay for my own way through YouTube, all of these places will require me to edit with Premiere Pro. Let me ask you this, and this is kind of going into business more than creativity, but do you invest? Your investments don't have to be gear or a degree or stocks and bonds. Actually, the most important investments to make, the ones that are never going to lose their own value, are investments that you make in yourself. What do I mean? Well, if you can train yourself in a high income producing talent, something like video editing, which in today's media world is just blowing up. Everybody needs video editors because everybody just wants to pump out as much content as they can and just they don't have enough hands to do the work. If you can train yourself in a skill that is going to fill that need, you're always going to have a job. You're always going to have job security, whether it's working for yourself or working for a bigger company or subcontracting out. Video editing is one of those skills, but specifically, Video editing in the Adobe suite is one of those skills because a company isn't gonna change what type of editing software they use just to hire you. They're gonna hire the 10 other people in line. So that's why I made the decision for myself to change to Premiere Pro off of DaVinci Resolve. I don't know what your ambitions are. Maybe you have no interest in video editing as a career. I mean, I didn't a year ago. And I'm telling you that as it stands right now, there is no better investment when it comes to video editing than learning how to edit on Adobe Premiere Pro.